Uh, hi everyone, I hope you're well and I hope your families are well too. Um, I miss you guys, I do. <laughs> I miss some of those faces. Um, but I'm not here to, you know, tell you to put your lanyard on or uh, put your tie on or tuck that shirt in. <laughs> um, uh, but speaking of, of dress, uh, I do hope that you are continuing to get up every day in the morning, uh, you know, get ready um, to, to take the day on just as you would if, if you were going to school. And that's really important because um, how you dress affects how you think. Um, and by maintaining a routine, you are keeping yourself going, essentially. And, um, you know, just follow your day-to-day uh, -day school timetable um, as if you're going to classes, but instead you're just moving from one subject to another um, as you continue revision. But alongside that, um, it's also important to, to take some time out for working towards things that interest you the most. You know, and that could be, for example, um, if you're interested in coding, you, can, you could be coding an app. Or if you love writing, then you can start a blog. Or um, write an opinion piece on, on somebody else's work. Um, or engaging, for example, if you like maths, in, in online um, math competitions. And, and doing those sorts of things are really important because they help you to develop um, that self, that sense of self-identity, um, you know, where you are not just a content catcher, you're not just, you know, absorbing the information that's around you, but you're also being uh, or becoming a content creator. Um, and, and, that's, and that's really important. And I try to, you know, live by that example myself. Um, where in addition, you know, to, to teaching uh, the said uh, specification or the said curriculum, um, uh, I also try and um, work on my own extracurricular uh, activity, and, and that's poetry. Um, I love poetry. It, I suppose um, I enjoy it because it helps me to express uh, thoughts and ideas um, in a way that is artful. Uh, I like playing with, with different kinds of words and seeing how they um, change uh, uh, reasoning or change perception. Um, and I find that quite therapeutic. Um, so with that in, in, in mind, I'd like to share with you um, a poem that I wrote uh, that sort of, uh, you know, it's one that I wrote recently that, that reflects um, what's been going on, um, and yes, it, it's it's a very unfortunate time. Um, there are a lot of um, there's a lot of sadness in certain families um, because of their loss uh, and, and the discomfort. Um, but I also wanted to um, use this opportunity to to try and shed some light on um, the positive things that are going on uh, around as well, and some of the the generosity and and the creativity and the connections that people are trying to make um, to overcome uh, uh, this the situation um, that we're in. Uh, so I'm going to take uh, this opportunity to read to you the poem. Um, but before I do, I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, Miss Bamji uh, for helping me um, with some uh, tweaks and edits uh, to finalize the poem. So thank you very much, Miss Bamji. Right, here it goes. <clears throat> I hope you enjoy it. Blessings in the strangest of shadows. We count the rise of COVID cases in Italy and Spain. We count the rise of deaths in London and New York. We count the rise of our fallen NHS heroes who gave us hope. We count the rise of domestic violence cases in the safety of our homes. We count the drop in the number of students going to school. We count the drop in the number of shops with open doors. And we count the drop in the values of the LSE and the FTSE. We count the drop in the number of cars passing by. Incessantly, we count. And yet, do we think to put a number to the daily laughter of our children as they run around the kitchen? The glowing spirit of our country who clap in unison for our saviors. The unnerving courage of those unable to work, humbly waiting for a pay. The growing hope our peoples hold on to as they look to their teachers for guidance. The unwavering support of our online community who help ease our wanting souls. And the grateful smile of the face of the elderly 
when they open their parcel of food. Numbers give a certainty, but the intangible gives us strength to be and do the powerfully positive and the creatively unthinkable in countless measures. So here it is. Here's to the busy, the bold, and the brave alongside the cold and quiet streets. Thank you for listening.